Okay. All right. I always talk about our guys uh, get better each and every game. I thought we got better you know, from the last game and an outstanding effort by our basketball team. Uh, K-State, uh, we know they're a tremendous defensive team. And, but I thought our guys uh, probably had a little bit more energy tonight. And I thought the biggest difference in the game tonight was, was our depth. I thought our bench play versus their bench play was, was, was outstanding. I mean, you, any guy would put, it, put it out on the floor, I thought they brought super energy. And especially, I thought Justin Safford. Uh, he really came out and just kind of energized. And it just, all of a sudden, it seemed like it became contagious. Uh, but you got to also remember uh, the starters that started it off where I thought they started and, and just set the atmosphere right. And, and our fans, again, they, uh, our guys, uh, that first half was probably the best uh, first half we've had since I've been here. It was, I mean, even to right there at the end. I mean, we, we get a steal and we get a, a tip, tip in. And it just shows me that our guys were, were very aggressive. <coughs> uh, they had a lot of energy. Mike, are you... Is there a player on your roster that you're getting more bang for the buck out of than Bowers? No, I mean, he, uh, I keep scratching my head. Like, man, you, you know, and uh, it's just time to let him go now. And, of course, he probably played the most minutes he's played. And uh, his productivity, I mean, he just is it, unbelievable. I mean, he just has a great feel for the game. And, and this instinct stuff you can't teach him. Uh, he makes other guys, uh, I mean, look good. I mean, I mean, he can throw some passes that I know some guys won't catch, and uh, he'll make it come out. You know, it's a great assist for a guy. So uh, he continues to get better, and uh, I think he's really, really. Uh, he's been helping our team all year long, but probably more so now than ever. Mike, can you talk about uh, Kansas State's the, the leading rebounding team in this league and the work you guys did, especially on the offensive uh, glass? Well, we talked about that. I thought in the first half we did a tremendous job in the first half attacking the glass. I thought you see our guards. JT, I think he had like five or six rebounds. But we had a lot of other guys getting in there, sticking their nose in. Matt Lawrence, again. And, of course, I think Demare kind of set the tone. So uh, Leo early on in the game. So we had more guys that were putting that. I thought we put our bodies in there. At their place, I thought we were kind of outside the lanes. But... Uh, but tonight we made it a conscientious effort to, to really get our bodies in there and, and, and get out there on the glass. Like how much different was your guard play? Well, it's totally different. I even told our guys in there, you know, I thought our guys got out played at, at their place, uh, but I thought our, our guys stood up and uh, played, played really, really well. I thought they took the leadership role and uh, just with their, their play, JT, Zaire, uh, Miguel Paul comes out and plays tremendous for us, and that's. That's Miguel Paul that, that, that I'm hopefully going to see a lot more of because I think it takes a lot of pressure off of uh, Zaire uh, and JT. And, and of course, Dem Demon, he's going to fight and scratch and crawl and give you what he can. Uh, Matt came in and continues to give us a big, big plus coming off that bench. And, you know, he's a senior, and I thought he played like a senior tonight. Mike, your players don't seem at all timid about going into Lawrence on, on Sunday. Uh, What do you see out of them coming off this game? Our guys are looking forward to the next game. I mean, it's, you know, they enjoy it to midnight. It's just, you know, you can't only get confidence going into it. I mean, our guys have been playing some pretty good basketball. I mean, we faced uh, K, KU before, and uh, they're an outstanding team. Uh, I think the one loss they got in conference play was, was, was by us, so I'm sure it's going to be the ultimate challenge. So maybe they don't know. Sometimes that's good. They don't know what they're going into. But, uh, but at the same time, I think our guys – uh, here the next couple of days, we'll get prepared and, and we'll go and, and try to get better. Try to get better. It's uh, it's on the road. It's at their place. Uh, it's a national televised game. So uh, uh, that's why they play the game.